How's it going? Nah, sorry, no feel good. Uh, yay! Freedom Comedy video here. So, uh, you know, I talk about the, on this channel quite a lot about BlackRock off and on, off and on. You know, uh, it was way back before, in, in the beginning, that's before they were pretty well hidden out of the public eye. But then they got exposed, and then I guess they figured, whatever, now they're out. So, uh, it was a couple years ago, I talked about uh, how BlackRock, Vanguard, and the rest of them, but at, at you know, BlackRock, BlackRock was spearheading this. How the way of the future for corporations and, um, you know, companies and stuff like that is going to be green. And uh, people should get on board for that. Wow. And they meant it. So now their BlackRock is punishing companies that don't uh, get along with this. Uh, there's, look up what they've done with U.S. Mobile. So with, uh, you know, nine, what they tell us is 9.6 trillion in assets that punishment could stretch uh far indeed it's been said that blackrock is uh it's like a government unto itself <laughs> i've said it for so long man I wonder who rules the world right <laughs> always say it's money but and we have an infrastructure bank here they own part of spotify if you want to go see you can you go to their web page you can see it all there i talked about they have an infrastructure bank in china now you know um we see some stuff about the convoy uh there's people dancing in the street why are you here sir it's holding a flag i'm here for for freedom We've never had that here in Canada. All right. I, I want it to be like, he says, like uh, how it is in the Charter of Freedom and Rights here in Ca Canada. Notwithstanding, right? <laughs> so uh, I, uh, I see it's getting a lot going around big time, man. That's just going to make the letdown worse. Sorry. You could hate me because I'm sure it'll come. Oh, you're not doing anything. Well, because if I'm, if you, by that, you mean I'm not. Dancing around the street, going, this is great. Uh, I believe in Santa and Easter Bunny. By the end of this, we could all be over. There's not going to be no... Uh, I just don't see government, uh, the government here stomping any, on anybody like that. Maybe at best they'll say, uh, okay, we're, we're, uh, because COVID's almost done. They're going to say, okay, go. Then Canadians are going to go, yeah, we won. And hopefully those guys get their money back. Uh, yeah, yeah, we won, but... You know what? We still have the carbon tax here. We still have a uh, non-existent energy sector. We're buying our oil from, uh, it's blood oil from Saudi Arabia. Mass immigration problems, massive debt, a non-existent GDP, Chinese uh, owning parts of BC and parts of Bay Street in Toronto. No, but yeah, we don't have to be forced to get a job to drive our, cross, our truck back and forth across the border. It's just uh, owner operators. Again, uh, they let, everyone's making fun of Justin Trudeau. I hate that guy. Uh, and saying about it's a, a, a small fringe. Well, it is. It is. And I'll tell you right now. If you uh, if you were a, like a broker that hired owner operators to haul your freight around and stuff like that, I'm sorry, but I would not be hiring anybody that that I can't rely on. I'm all, oh, you got to get this. No, I'm not going to haul that load because I'm going to protest. I know that's the extreme end of it, but business is business. Things got to go. Fleet, our fleet carriers are still in operation. There's still stuff for buy stores, still stuff in the stores around here. It's no, there's no massive break in the, the supply chain like the, the government's trying to push. Or there's a whole bunch of crazies. Like I said, those crazies, the, the ones that are around here making big noises, well, they all hit out in their room. And it was just regular Canadians went there uh, to hang around and because they thought they were going to see something, you know, and uh, had to have a good mood. Look, we're actually doing something kind of like how they were with the PPC, sort of. And the trucker convoy the, before this one, sort of. That one didn't get no press, did it? Just saying. So, now what happens? All the rest of that stuff still going to be there. We're still a communist country. So you got a little bony you thought you've had a victory. Away you go. Now what? You're still truck drivers. You're still going to be paying that carbon tax on all your fuel, aren't you? Yeah. 
we're still all going to be paying ridiculous taxes. We're still all going to be supporting these third world countries, people that are just crashing our borders. We don't talk about the ones that are free to death either because, yeah! We all know what it takes. The people when they're some America pundits are calling it a revolution. Get bent. What's a revolution where you're dancing around in the wintertime and holding your flags and then going to Tim Hortons to get a coffee on the fucking way home? We all know what a real revolution is, what that entails. History shows us real change comes at real cost. Think about it. Thanks for watching. Like subscribe or not all that stuff